it's Jennifer. It's Jennifer. Today, I am finally doing my long-awaited dorm tour at NYU, and you guys have been asking for this for a very, very long time since like last year, and I'm very sorry that I haven't done it. I just hadn't really decorated my room to the extent that I wanted to be able to decorate. If you like this video, make sure to like it, and I don't just mean emotionally. Go physically, like, tap that thumbs up button. Also, you should subscribe, because, I mean, that would be, that would be kind of cool. Also, there's more, you should follow me on my social media. I have Instagram and Twitter, which are just at Generation DIY, and then Snapchat is Generation underscore DIY. If you guys have any questions about NYU, or like dorming, or like college in general, make sure to leave those questions down below because I'm gonna try to make a Q&A video. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to my dorm. So once you walk in, you're going to see we have a bunch of cleaning supplies and this like lamp thing and it's pretty cluttered. And then we have the bathroom, which is probably the most disgusting bathroom that I have ever lived in. I mean, it's like livable, but it does not smell too great. No matter how many times we clean it, it just smells terrible. And then we also have a shower here. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the toilet, but we do have a toilet. And this is Sweet B. My two sweet mates live in there, but I live in Sweet A, and this is the overview of the room. This is my side, and this is my roommate's side. To the right of the door, you will see a shoe rack. This is actually my roommate's. And on top of that, I have this full-length mirror that you guys always see me dancing in on Snapchat. To the right of that, we have the closet, and this is actually a shared closet. So on top, we just store a lot of stuff. So for the clothes rack area, this is my roommate's, and then mine is on the right side, and it goes in. And on the bottom, I store all of my shoes that I probably don't need because I have so many and I really don't wear all of them. And then I have my desk area and all my shelves where I do most of my work. On the top shelf, I do a lot of storage of random stuff I don't really use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a lot of extra like hair stuff and here I have extra makeup in this like torn up tissue box. On the next shelf, we have a bunch of products that I also don't really use that often but I just need to put them somewhere. And I have some mugs and cups and here I have my makeup bag and then we have some cotton pads some extra makeup bags and then I have my paint and glue in this bag and then I have my lens and some business cards on the next shelf I have some of the stuff that I use more on a day-to-day -day basis so in this first acrylic organizer I have my hairbrush scissors pens nail polish and then here I have some of the palettes that I just want to be able to grab more easily every day in the second organizer I have stuff that I pretty much wear every day so concealer and mascara some beauty blender things some basic stuff so yeah this is pretty much my like everyday kind of organizer I have some lip balm and also my naked basics palettes then we have my makeup brushes and then some sharpies and paint brushes and then we have some beef teriyaki because why not add some food in into this you know and then we have a stress ball that's actually a brain and then this like gel heating pad thing that I find really relaxing to just like squish around and then we have my notebooks on the desk level I have this wire mesh organizer and I just put all of my cardstock in there and also a magazine I also hung my earphones on top of there because the hooks were already there when I moved in here is my laptop and then on the right we have my tissues a monster energy drink that I have never tried before and some water that is my desk underneath that I have my drawers in the first drawer is just a cluttery mess and we will not go into detail because there's just too much stuff in the second drawer I have all my electronics my cameras my wires chargers all the kind of electronic stuff this is probably my favorite drawer because it is my food stash you know I love my food and I also love pretzels. So, I also have these blueberry yogurt covered pretzels. And if you have not tried these, 
what in generation you need to try them because they will change your life next up we have my bed area and you guys have probably seen this like a million times if you follow me on snapchat i like change it up pretty often so at the beginning of the year it did not look like this so my tapestry is actually from an online store i will link it down below and then obviously i have some throw pillows all of them are from amazon except for the one with eyes on it because i made that in my last video which was weird diys that you could make with a potato so make sure to check that out i will also leave it down below on top of my bed i have my canopy and i actually made this from a curtain that i bought off of amazon it was really easy i just draped it down with a command hook and on my wall beside my bed i just hung these string lights and i hung some of my polaroid pictures onto there with some mini clothes pins and i feel like everything just looks better with the lights on so i turned the lights on i think it looks really cozy and cute and what other basic words can i use to describe this i will try to leave the link down below to all the stuff that I bought online like my lights my tapestry my pillows and the curtains oh. bed I like to hide a bunch of stuff because I feel like you can store a lot of stuff there. I have my laundry basket, suitcases, cards against humanity, some boxes I need to ship, and some of my camera equipment. Here I have my favorite pair of panda slippers and then I have my white fuzzy rug that is from Bed Bath & Beyond and I love it! Beside that we have my roommate's rug which is pretty big. I think this is from Amazon? I'm not sure. Beside my bed we have my wardrobe and on top of that we have- why do I keep saying we? It's it's my room. I have this 1 million subscriber play button and then I also have all my hats on top of my wardrobe and this is what my wardrobe looks like. So in the first drawer it's just like bras and underwear that kind of stuff but in the second drawer I have some of my sweaters and t-shirts. It's pretty disorganized but yeah. In my next drawer, it's pretty much the same deal. Some sweatshirts and t-shirts. And then we have some of my- or all of my shorts are here. And on the last drawer- on the you know, in the last drawer, I have my pants. Beside that, we have a pretty epic view. So we have this giant window and we also live pretty high up. So we always have this really great view and I get to wake up to this every morning. And it's pretty amazing, but if you think this looks good, wait till you see it at night. Please, please tell me this is not freaking stunning. This is just, it's beautiful. But if you think this looks good, it looks even better when it's like a very sunny day. I snapchat sunsets all the time on my snapchat, so you should totally follow me. I mean, if you want to, but that's an option for you. Back to daylight, we have my plants and for some reason, I keep- I mean, they're dying even though I take very good care of them. I feel like succulents are supposed to be really easy to take care of because they don't really need water or like anything, but I don't know, I guess plants just hate me. So that's it for my side of the room. This is my roommate's side of the room. Obviously, she's from California and her side of the room looks pretty cute too. And that is- pretty much it for the dorm tour. There wasn't too much to show you guys just because the room isn't huge, but for an NYU dorm, this is a pretty big size. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and that is pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!